So you're going to need some sort of hammer or mallet, whatever. Um, if you have an owl or leather tool, that's great. But just remember if you're going to use a normal hammer in conjunction with a, uh, a normal leather tool, you might wear out the uh, stamp faster. Also maybe deform your tool. Yeah. Okay. You're also gonna need something to cut the leather. So that will be a skiving knife. If you don't have a skiving knife, I find that Uh, box cutters are okay also scissors I have a, just a heavy duty scissor so this is actually for tin smithing but it works also also if you're gonna do some stitching just your normal stitching Equipment, needles and tread basic um, metal rulers also and if you're gonna make holes for sawing or treading your needle you're gonna need a lacing chisel so this is a leather tool if you don't have this Just a drill and drill bit. Also, you can use uh, your Victorinox. So that's what this is for, actually. You know, Victorinox always has a uh, leather tool. I mean, most of their bigger multi-tools have it and then um, of course leather paint if you don't have this uh, I think you can use pretty much anything so to apply the leather paint for leather work uh, we actually use applicators if you don't have this uh, you can use rags, brush, but what I like to use is just just cut a piece of s sponge, you know. Uh, but be careful. Um, some leather stains or leather paint is okay to use with sponge, but some actually melts the sponge. In that case, just use rags if you don't have the uh, applicator. For the edges. For smoothing, or sorry, uh, making a bevel, you're gonna need this is for leather edge beveler. But if you don't have this, uh, just use sandpaper, or you know, you can have a sandpaper on your drill, would make it easier. Lighter, it's pretty much self explanatory for your tread. Then, when you're done, you want to smoothen the edges, maybe punch in a form. So, you're going to need a slicker. So, this is for has slots to smoothen the edges, and this part and this part for pressing it down so uh, if you don't have a slicker what you can use is actually just a screwdriver so it has this same thing and also kind of like a pommel you can use this as well if you don't have a slicker so and of course you're gonna need your leather 
I didn't include any tooling so I didn't include leather stamps here because in this project we're not going to be using leather stamps I might include that in another video what you can use in substitute to having leather stamps so basically um, you can survive with just you know, your normal uh, household tools in uh, making a, a small project okay okay so I mentioned uh, leather paint earlier but for the rest of the uh, I think chemicals is the right term the rest of the chemicals you're gonna use other than the paint so you have some leather dye yeah. and you're gonna need some contact cement a lot of it also some sealer for the edges it doesn't have a name but I think they call this gum tragakan and bull wax so for bull wax uh, you're gonna want to wax, wax your uh, tread before you use it uh, if you don't have this you can use candlesticks just rub it on the side for the glue of course uh, I'm sure you have this for the rest of the stuff this is actually for leather working uh, only if you don't have this uh, it's okay not to have the sealer for the leather paint and uh, leather dye uh, you can use any form of coloring you want uh, any other paint will work with leather for staining the leather um, I've actually used coffee before so if you don't have this it's fine uh, but you are going to need some sort of glue So I'm not satisfied. You can use the polish.
So this is what you're going to end up with. It looks really old, even though we just made it. That's, that's the main idea. Um, that's actually my signature for my leather work. Um, but yeah, so there are ways where you can sort of make the patina on the leather fake patina, but you know, it looks good. And at the same time, it still protects the actual leather. So the original design, I was going to use a wider strap, but that didn't happen because there was this curve on the main body. So I ended up cutting another strip. I, I just stamped it uh, with my leather tool. So I don't want this to be too plain because I am going to use it. So it's formed as well, so it's not going to drop. It actually has some retention to it. So the reason why I want it to look old, because look at the knife. So I actually designed the knife. I cut some striations in it to make it look like some sort of a flint knife. Anyway, it looks good. It's weirdly shaped too. So see that curve? So I can use this for in front of me, cross draw. I'll insert my belt here. Or for a scout carry. So on my back. Still kind of tight. That's how we like it. So that's it. I hope you like this video.